Heat treating works by altering the shape and alignment of a metal's crystalline structure. The changing of the metal's properties occurs when a metal is heated to a high temperature. Heat treatment is an important process in the refining and petrochemical industry. It gives us the ability to alter the metallurgical characteristics of steel and equipment to better suit their intended applications. Oftentimes, this means altering a material's hardness, strength, toughness, ductility, and elasticity. The four types of heat treatment steel, annealing, normalizing, hardening, and tempering. Annealing is a heat treatment process which alters the microstructure of a material to change its mechanical or electrical properties. Typically, in steels, annealing is used to reduce hardness, increase ductility, and help eliminate internal stresses. Annealing steel or any other metal involves heating it to a specific temperature and allowing it to cool at a specified rate. Normalization removes impurities in steel and improves its strength and hardness and will increase its ductility. This happens by changing the size of the grain, making it more uniform throughout the piece of steel. The steel is first heated up to a specific temperature, then cooled by air. In addition, normalizing helps reduce internal stresses induced by such operations as forging, casting, machining, forming or welding. Hardening is a metallurgical metal working process used to increase the hardness of a metal. A harder metal will have a higher resistance to plastic deformation than a less hard metal. The main objective of hardening the machine components made of structural steels of the paralytic classes to develop high yield strength with good toughness and ductility so that higher working stresses are allowed. Quenching improves a metal's performance by rapidly cooling the heated metal thereby altering its molecular structure and increasing its hardness. Tempering is a heat treatment technique applied to ferrous alloys, such as steel or cast iron, to achieve greater toughness by decreasing the hardness of the alloy. The reduction in hardness is usually accompanied by an increase in ductility, thereby decreasing the brittleness of the metal. Tempering is commonly performed after hardening to reduce excess hardness. Since untampered steel is very hard yet too brittle for most industrial applications, tempering can change ductility, hardness, strength, structural stability and toughness. Thanks for watch this video.